The Muhammad Buhari Conference Center at the National Intelligence Agency Abuja is the venue for the induction, and the newly appointed envoys are said to be inducted. I congratulate you all. President Muhammad Buhari joins the meeting virtually from the council chamber at the villa. He commends the envoys for accepting to serve their fatherland, but is quick to remind them of their responsibilities. You must strive to promote trade, human capacity development, foreign direct investment, and other areas of cooperation with countries at national and multilateral levels. On his part, the Minister of Foreign Affairs believes the foreign policy of the current administration will make the task before the diplomats an easy one. The result of the Buhari doctrine is that Nigeria is on good terms with every country in the world, no exception. So this fact alone will make your jobs as envoys of Mr. President much easier. For the diplomats, they hope to bring their experience to bear in their new assignment. I strongly believe that uh, on the issue of vaccines and other issues relating to vaccination, uh, the bilateral relationship between UK and Nigeria will be explored to ensure that Nigeria benefits from vaccination in the UK. Well, the mission is always open to having Nigerians express what they are facing as challenges, and so that's just going to be always ongoing. The three-day induction and orientation course is expected to equip the new envoys with relevant information and skills that would enable them to carry out their responsibilities effectively. There is no doubt that they have a lot to grapple with in coming days, ranging from uh, Nigeria's bilateral relationship in the area of trade, security, and most importantly, at this critical time that the world is faced with the COVID-19 pandemic. From the Mohamed Buhari Conference Center at the National Intelligence Agency, Emperor Simon, Channel Television News.